Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got what I've been warming and this is kind of the Christmas edition. So this is the things that I warmed in my home throughout the like actual Christmas week. So very festive things, lots of stuff there and I thought I would get this up before the new year starts because I'll be going into quite a different set of scents at that point. So I thought I would let you know how these performed in my house, where I warmed them, all of that good stuff so you might decide what might do well in your home. So I will go with my new system here of just going through Scentsy stuff first, vendor stuff at the end of the video, and we'll go with open layout and then the rest of my house. So open layout, on Christmas day, I did a mix of Sleigh Ride, which is in the holiday collection. Um, this will be going up on New Year's Eve, so happy New Year's. Um, this will still be available New Year's Eve. New Year's Day, it will be gone. And this one I actually threw into my club. I thought I would just stock up on this one and I did get a couple extra bars, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. This is a beautiful, sweet, fresh tree scent. And I don't typically go for tree scents, but this is beautiful and I think I need more. It was perfect for Christmas Day. And I mixed it with Christmas Cottage. So this is just an old bar of Christmas Cottage that I have. This one is Valencia Orange, uh, Raspberry and Cinnamon. And this was so good. And combined, these two were beautiful. It was Christmas perfection. Really, really enjoyed it. So I did two cubes, so one warmer in the kind of middle of the area of Christmas Cottage. And then I did the rest of my warmers in the open layout with Sleigh Ride. It was really nice. Was over a day, I think this was like two days is what it lasted. And it was really, really nice. So I would definitely do that mix again of Christmas Cottage and Sleigh Ride. Um, I might even do them in more equal parts next time, but that was a great Christmas day mix. I really enjoyed it. Then a couple days after Christmas, I wanted something kind of holiday-ish still without being like super Christmassy. And I decided to pull out one of my precious few bars of red berry and spruce. This is a pretty sweet berry scent mostly with just a hint of a sweet per pine or sweet fir, or probably a spruce because that's in the name. But it is kind of like a very sweet pine with a lot of sweet berry. I would say similar to the berry note in like Snow Kissed Cranberry, just a very sweet, soft cranberry note. Really pretty. I would love to see this come back one day and either bring back my bar or something like that. It's well worth getting if you ever see it in your travels. Red berry and spruce. That was more of a one dare. It was about a medium strength, maybe a four out of 10, like slightly below medium um, and like 12 hours. So not super long lasting, but very, very nice. Then, before Christmas uh, on the 22nd or 23rd, I think both those days actually because it was a two day scent, Homestead Holiday. This one is just good. This is one I use in the lead up to Christmas every year and it was in the sense of the season this year but I do club this one as well. Oh, this one is like orange, um, balsam fir and cinnamon. It has like an ember note to it. It's warm, it's hearthy, it's just the most homey Christmassy scent. Um, you can't go wrong with this one, as long as you're okay with some spice. It's not overly spicy though. There is a sweetness here, maybe from the orange, I'm not sure. But there is a bit of a sweetness here that kind of balances it and it's really, really nice. So if you're watching this the day it goes up, this is still available to stock up our club. I would highly recommend it. This one did go back into my club as well. Then the rest of my house. I finished up a bar of Blue Christmas. This is from last year's sense of the season. It's not available right now. I did one cube in each of our bathrooms. It was a strong kind of astringent pine scent. This one isn't a person of personal favorite for me, um, but I think if you like pine scents, this would be one you would enjoy. Um, I don't mind it in the bathroom. It is quite sharp to my nose um, and it's about a 36 hour type scent. Fairly strong though, especially out the gate. I would say like an eight out of 10 in strength. Pretty strong, um, a little bit longer lasting than usual. Good performer, um, not a repurchase for me. Then a couple nights ago, I broke into a new bar of Pacific Sandalwood. Um, my friend saw it in New Zealand. We swap a couple times a year and I got another bar of Pacific Sandalwood. So I have a little stockpile. So I was comfortable using my, my stockpile. And this is so good. This is a nice aged juicy bar too. And it is soft and creamy and sweet and lovely, lovely, like sweet vanilla sandalwood. So pretty. It is on the light side, very much a bedroom scent. I did two cubes. It lasted two days. It was pretty soft the second day, but oh my gosh, one of my absolute favorite all-time Scentsy scents. Again, if we could get this back, I would be a happy camper. Then we did another cube, two cubes actually, of Season of Magic, the Disney bar in my daughter's room. This was again, I think Christmas or Christmas day, somewhere in there. 
in the like imminent Christmas days. Um, this was pretty. It was a sweet pine scent. It does have a bit of berry to it again. Again, kind of along the same line as like red berry and spruce. This one has a bit more of the sweet pine or sweet green notes. Yeah, this one's good. My daughter tends to like those kind of sweet pine scents, so she really enjoyed this one, especially in her room. And this was a better performer with the two cubes. It was a good two or three days in her room, actually, um, at about a medium strength, maybe even a bit better than medium at the beginning. So good performer. I would recommend Season of Magic if you like kind of sweet pine tree scents. It's well worth picking up. Then in our room on Christmas, kind of the same time that we had the Christmas cottage and sleigh ride, and then the Season of Magic in my daughter's room, we did silver bells in our room, two cubes, and then one cube in our ensuite. This was just nice too. Silver Bells is just this kind of classic, it doesn't even have to be for Christmas, but it was very beautiful for Christmas. Um, this can be any time in the winter. This is kind of a caramelized pear, candy canes, and I think amber potentially are in the notes. It's really nice. It's soft, it's smooth, it's kind of like elegant, but still being homey. It's really pretty and very unlike anything I've ever smelled anywhere else. So Silver Bells is a unique one. Highly recommend trying it if you haven't. Performance on this one is long, but I would say like a four to five out of 10 in strength. So like a light medium to medium, but goes for a long time, like two, three days. So really, really good performer. Then we had done, I had some Olaf warm hugs. I had two cubes, which isn't really enough for a bedroom warm. Olaf does kind of require doubling your wax, I find. Um, this one is currently available. It is, I think, warm winter woods, uh, fresh air and uh, warm vanilla or cool winter woods, warm vanilla and um, the fresh air, winter air. Um, it's kind of a soft, cuddly woodsy scent. It's a very soft woodsy scent with a very slight hint of vanilla, just kind of rounding it out. There's not a whole lot of sweetness here, um, not as much as I prefer. Um, and it is quite a light performer. I do find you have to double the wax to smell it in a bedroom. And I didn't have enough to double the wax. So I decided to mix it with something complimentary instead. And I chose French Lavender because French Lavender is also a lighter scent. So I knew that it wouldn't overpower Olaf. So I did two cubes of each in my bedroom warmer. That was really nice. I think I smelled more of the French Lavender, um, but it was a kind of soft, soothing type scent. It was nice. I don't know that I would do it again, but if you have Olaf and you have French Lavender, it wouldn't be a bad idea to mix them. It was rather nice. And that I think went two days as well. So that was a good one. Then in my bathroom today, I have Vitamin I Inhale. This is going in the laundry room and in the bathroom. And this one was from a couple seasons ago or a couple years ago. This was from the All Is Well collection. This one smells exactly like Irish Spring Soap. It is that kind of shower fresh green soapy smell. Um, it's okay. It's not one I would repurchase, but I do want to kind of finish this bar off this month. It's a nice fresh one and I do tend to use it in bathrooms the most. Um, so there's that one. It's quite strong. I would say 7 out of 10. And if I remember right, it's about a two-day duration. Yeah, I think it's about two days. Um, but it's still going right now today. So there's that. Wouldn't repurchase it if I had the chance, but it's not available right now anyway. So then I had done Snow Kissed Cranberry in our bedroom. I did four cubes to make it nice and scented. This again is one that is on the softer side and you do need to double the wax on. Um, it is not currently available. I hope we see this back one day. This is one of the prettiest cranberry scents, if not the prettiest cranberry scent I've ever smelled. I really like this one. Yes, it is soft and sweet. Um, not overly tart like some cranberry scents are, uh, but with doubling the wax, I did find it got to more of like a four or five out of 10 in strength. So about a medium, and that is kind of where I like my bedroom scents to be. I just kind of want a nice kind of like setting for the bedroom. I don't want it to be like a super, super overpowering, overwhelming scent. So about a medium is what I want in the bedroom for, for scent strength. And this did get there with doubling the wax. If you don't double the wax, you don't get anything from it. And so then it's not worth it, but really like this one. I did buy a brick of this that I found on the black market as well. So I am stocked up on Snow Kissed Cranberry. Then we had done again, close to Christmas time. Uh, my daughter wanted this one in her room and this one just screams Christmas to me as well. This is the Holly Jolly Cider Holiday Brick. And I can't remember if this is on the site still or not. It may be sold out, it may not be, so double check. But this one is like apple, cinnamon and cider. It is lovely. It smells like the holidays, any time in the holidays. I would say like November, December, January would be great months for this one. Um, so we did one cube in her bedroom. And that lasted, it was about a day, so it wasn't super long lasting. 
And that does tend to be my experience with this brick is it is kind of a one dayer um, and about a five or six out of 10. So pretty much average performer, um, but it was really, really nice. So there's that one. And I did club that one as well. Next up, we are onto the vendor wax that I did in my house. The first thing I did is what I have going today. And this is the Melting Memories Baked Apple Pie. I did the full clamshell in my open layout here. Just kind of split among my warmers. This one, I knew I loved on cold. On warm, it is somehow even better. It's so good. And I believe this one is coming back in the pre-order that she was doing in January. I can't remember the exact date for that pre-order. I think it's early January. So go to Melting Memories Instagram or Facebook page um, and check out that because she is doing a pre-order and I believe you will be able to get baked apple pie in there as well. So I'm really hoping I can get this in a bigger size because she is offering larger sizes now and I hope that this will be one of them because, oh my gosh, this one is so good. I would melt this year round hands down. The crust note in here is perfection. It is this like flaky, buttery crust without being overly buttery. You know, in some sense that butter note is very too buttery, like popcorn buttery. This is not that. This is like flaky, baked, flaky crust with the most beautiful, gently spiced apple pie filling. Best apple pie smell I've ever smelled. Love, love, love. And better performer than I expected. It took a little bit to get going, but after about an hour and a half, like it is like fully consuming the open layout at a nice medium strength. So really enjoying that. Um, probably gonna be a one dare, but I love it. So about average performance. Then in uh, the guest bathroom, I have got Bamboo Forest, which is a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma. This doesn't have the scent notes on it, so I'm not sure what they are. This is kind of a like sweet, fresh, slightly woodsy type scent. I almost get pine from it, which is why I'm warming it now. This one reads as kind of fresh and piney to my nose, even though it's bamboo forest. So I don't know, I'm warming it now. It's fine. It's not one I think I would purchase, but I'm enjoying the sample. Oh, these are samples too, but they are Scentsy samples. So this is three samples I got from my friend Sara in New Zealand. I did in my office, the Sunset Sky and Strawberry, which is a spring brick that they had. So I don't know what our spring bricks are gonna be if we even get spring bricks um, for region one this year for North America. Um, but I hope we get Sunset Sky and Strawberry because this was very nice. This was Strawberry and White Woods. Um, it was two cubes in my office. It was really nice. It was a nice, like, juicy, bright strawberry with a lot of freshness to it. There was a very fresh air, kind of aquatic tone to it as well. And the strawberry was very bright and kind of a more authentic strawberry than I'm used to with Scentsy. Often they're kind of like a sweet candy strawberry. And this was more of a realistic, off the vine, still a little bit tart strawberry. It was really nice. So I wouldn't mind seeing that in region one actually as well. So that was Sunset Sky and Strawberry. It was a two dayer, so pretty good for a strawberry scent and about a medium strength, really nice. So thank you, Sarah. Next up, we did Beachside Blooms. This is another spring brick in region three. So again, I don't know if we're gonna see this in region one or not. Beachside Blooms is Jasmine, Mandarin Waves, and it the writing is kind of smudged so I can't see but it's something seashore so jasmine mandarin waves and seashore um this was really nice too this was in the bedroom this was definitely a floral floral um but a fresh herb floral yeah this was pretty so this was kind of a like fresh floral is what I would describe this as I would say I didn't get a whole lot of the mandarin but the jasmine was nice and mixed with the seashore it was kind of an aquatic jasmine type scent I think if you like summer florals that's a nice one this isn't one I think I would get more of. It kind of leaned a little bit headachey to me, but it was also a day where I was kind of feeling headachey, so it could have just been that. But that was a nice one. And again, about a like 36 hour performer and about a medium strength. Next up in the bedroom, we did Christmas Miracle from Sassy Girl Aroma. I did four cubes. This one is Peppermint Meringue and Creme Brulee. So it's quite a bakery scent. It's kind of like a buttermint type scent. Yeah. My thing with this, is that especially on warm, the, I think it's the creme brulee note, came across as very, like almost tart. It had like a tartness to it that kind of wrecked the scent for me. It, I don't know. I feel like I need to mix this one with something a bit better balanced or something maybe, maybe pine or, but there's like, like a, a tang to this. It's like a cream cheese tang or something. And I didn't care for it, especially in the bedroom. But I think in maybe the open layout or mixed with something, this would be much better. 
um, but for the bedroom it was kind of I didn't care for it so that was Christmas Miracle I think it went about 36 hours maybe even two days I can't quite remember how long but at least 24 hours um, and I think it went even longer than that um, but again scent appeal not so great for me strength I would say about a medium so performance was fine it's just I didn't care for the scent all that much I wouldn't repurchase this one next up from Sassy Girl we did Birch and Pine and this one I think I did in bathrooms this one, again, I've done it before. This is compared to Bir Birchwood Pine by Nest. It is a majestic winter forest, is created by blending white pine, fir balsam, and birchwood over a base of rich musk and amber. This one is a kind of classic pine tree type scent, very similar to Minos to Scentsy's Very Snowy Spruce. Yes, <clears throat> it does have a bit of that musk in the base for sure. If you're into classic pine tree type scents, you're gonna like birch and pine. Um, those aren't my typical kind of scents, but in the week of Christmas, I quite enjoy those kinds of scents. That's like the one time of year I do like them. So I did this in bathrooms and I did quite enjoy this in the bathroom. It was a nice fresh pine tree scent. I remember it lasting about a day um, and about a medium, maybe six out of 10, maybe slightly better than medium strength. So that one, not a purchase for me, but I did quite enjoy it and I'll happily melt the rest of this. Next up, I did Favorite Holiday by Sassy Girl. I did two cubes in my office. This one is another Nest dupe. This is the Nest Holiday dupe, apparently. This is a citrus blend of grapefruit, orange, lemon, mandarin, eucalyptus, fir needle, fresh pine, cinnamon stick, and clove, pomegranate, vanilla, and fresh cut cedar. A lot of notes there. Um, this mainly comes across to me as a citrusy pine with like a hint of eucalyptus. I don't get a whole lot of the other stuff there or the fruity notes. It is quite sharp, like quite sharp. And I think that's all of those citrus notes. I detect mostly like a grapefruit type note, and that is kind of the first note in the description. So I think that's what I'm picking up the most of. I mostly get the grapefruit, the pine, a little bit of eucalyptus. I'm not smelling cedar, pomegranate, vanilla. I might be getting a bit of clove. Yeah, I don't know. It's a citrusy pine tree scent with probably the sharpest one I've ever smelled. Um, I have had the Nest Holiday candle before. It's one of my absolute favorite holiday scents. I love the Nest holiday scent. Um, this doesn't smell quite like it to my nose. Um, yeah, I don't think I would have purchased this one. Not a favorite. Um, but I think as if you like those kind of classic holiday scents, if you like those kind of citrusy tree scents, that might be worth trying. In performance, there was about average. <clears throat> I would say again, medium strength and about a day. Next up, I have got Teddy Bees today in our bedroom. This is Mom Life. I just had a craving for this scent, so even though it's not super holiday specific, I just kind of felt like this scent. It's a cozy one. This is creamy oat milk, frothy vanilla cold foam, and a hint of sensual vanilla. So this one sounds like it would be a coffee one because you got oat milk and cold foam. There's no coffee here. This is just the oat milk, the vanilla cold, cold foam, and this kind of like very ever so slightly like body care vanilla. It's really nice. It's so nice. Yeah, oh, that one is good. I like that one a lot. Um, it's just kind of soft and creamy and smooth. Really, really nice for the bedroom. I did two cubes in my bedroom. It's like a four to 10 in strength, so like a light medium. Really nice. It goes about a day and a half, if I remember right. So that is what I've been warming over the last little bit. <clears throat> and other than that, I just wanted to wish you a super happy New Year's, um, however you celebrate that. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in the new year. And I can't wait to see what the new year brings for us for Sensi. I mean, we've got a new catalog coming up. We've got the Easter collection that no one's seen anything about yet. We'll have the summer stuff, potentially bricks. Maybe we had them last year, so maybe we'll have them this year. I'm just excited to see what's in store for the spring summer months. I do love the fall winter most of all, and I'm kind of sad that we're leaving that season behind, but I am kind of excited to see what we have in store for 2024. And I can't wait to share that all with you. So thank you so much for watching. We will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.